Now, there are two regimes when it comes to adverse possession. There's the old regime, and this still applies for unregistered land. Now, there's quite a lot of unregistered land in some parts of the country, other parts of the country, hardly any at all. It also applies to some registered land, but only where the adverse possession period, which is generally 12 years, has already expired or has already been clocked up, if you like, before the 13th of October 2003. I always thought when the Land Registration Act came in, so the 2003 date comes from the Land Registration Act, I always thought that actually old style adverse possession under this old regime would drop off the radar. But as we'll see, yes, it is becoming less likely, but it is still most definitely alive. If the license is in existence and hasn't ended, can you say that somehow or other something has happened so that the license um, comes to an end? Well, that was the argument made in the trustees of the Grantham Christian Fellowship Against the Scouts Association case in 2005, a case where you sort of rather think that neither party should be disputing anything, but certainly before the court. Now, the uh, church had granted the scouts a license to use some land that the church owned um, as long as they kept it clean and tidy and they were using it um, for camping. As part of, and I think I'm right in saying here, that it was some kind of a celebration of the Queen's Silver Jubilee, I think it might have been, um, uh, a garden was erected or built rather by the Scouts Association in the land that they had originally been using for camping purposes that was the subject of the licence. The land in dispute has to be adjacent to the land that the squatter already owns. Well, here, there's two acres of land in Keithley, which um, are in dispute here. The squatter says it squatted them, and part of them are next to the squatter's land. The uh, upper tribunal, I think this is Mr Justice Fancourt, says that cases in paragraph five of Schedule 6, as so these conditions, are exceptional cases. And he goes on to say the whole or substantially the whole of the disputed land, the squatted land, would have to be capable of being described as adjacent to the applicant's own land for the condition to be satisfied. So in other words, it suggests that it's actually going to be probably a small bit of land, doesn't it?